So I'm going to go uh, visit the uh, Hika Mawaru uh, ship here. And uh, yeah, let's just go take a look. This is kind of the map here. Looks like it's got four decks, A, B, C, and D. It's only 300 yen to enter. So let's go. So I've got my ticket. You actually walk in to the ship and you come here and well yeah I haven't seen me in Japanese but uh, it's pretty cool to be on a ship so let's go take a look again and again and yeah okay. The Hikawa Maru was a Japanese ocean liner that sailed between Yokohama over to Vancouver and Seattle. The Hikawa Maru was actually an ocean liner from 1929 to 1941 and 1953 to 1960. Yes, it's the first class children's room. The Hikawa Maru had a reputation for service that combined splendid food and beautiful art deco interiors and was actually named the Queen of the Pacific. The Hikawa Maru was one of three class motor ships, all named after major Shinto shrines. As soon as the World War started, she became a hospital ship from 1941 to 1945. Little short thing there, that's the first class cabin, two single beds in a sink. Okay, this here is uh, another first class cabin. You can see inside there. And another first class cabin. I'd really hate to see where people like me would sleep. Down from the first cabins is the uh, deluxe cabin here. Um, yeah, well, check this out. This is the uh, sitting room. Then they have the, uh, the bathroom area. And then over onto this side is the actual beds. Walk out. In 1961, Hikaru Maru was permanently berthed in the Yamashita Park in Yokohama. Restored her to where she is today and reopened to the public in April of 2008. Okay, I, I gotta say, this has got to be one of the coolest rooms on the ship. Like, how awesome is this? Okay, so those three floors was just the whole engine diesel room. Pretty freaking cool. And now we're going into, uh, look at this, old fire hose. And it's very low down here. And uh, we're just gonna head into the galley. Like, I can seriously touch my head. I don't know how short people were back in the day, but damn. Now we're just heading into the galley area, see how much we have of that, and third class cabins. All right, so I hit uh, the third class cabins now. Obviously, you can see it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, eight bunks and one table. So a lot different than uh, the first class. And honestly, like, 
I don't think I could actually sleep in one of these beds. Pretty narrow and maybe less than six feet long. But it's pretty cool to be up here and look at all this. Could you imagine being on this ship 125 years ago doing this? Scary! So behind me is a map of um, you know where it started from Japan and it went all over the place, over up into uh, over into Europe area, all down Southeast Asia. Um, it did run from 1930 until 1960. It made 127 voyages. That's pretty freaking crazy. And then just as we're leaving, um, they actually do have the illustration of the interior of the Hikawa Maru uh, from 1930. Uh, we've got a bit of a legend over there, but check this out. How cool is this? Okay, I'll get you a better shot. Hold on. There you go guys, that was the uh, Hikawamaru, a bit of Japanese history on a pretty cool boat that's been docked here in the Yokohama uh, Bay area for, okay, I, I don't know about that how long, but uh, hey, hope you enjoy, keep it real, keep it raw, stay true to yourself, I'll see you next time.